everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about shiny curls. If you ever find yourself wondering why your curls aren't as shiny as other people's and how you can make your hair more shiny, then today's video is for you. I'm gonna be sharing some reasons why your hair may not be as shiny as other people's and I'm also gonna be sharing some tips on how you can enhance your hair's shine. So let's go ahead. So there are a few different factors that can determine how shiny your hair is and these include your hair porosity, your hair type and how hydrated your hair is. So first let's take a look at hair porosity. Your porosity is your hair's ability to attract and retain moisture and in general low porosity hair is naturally much shinier than high porosity hair and the reason for that is because in low porosity hair the cuticles lay much flatter so the light can reflect off the surface of the hair and once hydrated low porosity hair stays pretty well hydrated so that is the reason why I personally don't need to add loads and loads of moisture to my hair but for low porosity hair it's just hard to get it hydrated in the first place so you have to do some different techniques to hydrate your hair which we will talk about a little bit later on in the video. High porosity hair is generally hair that is damaged although some people can have naturally high porosity hair so with high porosity hair the cuticles are slightly raised so it loses moisture quite quickly so therefore it needs products that help lock the moisture in and enhance shine. Next up is your hair type. Now you may have noticed that naturally straight or wavy hair is usually smooth, silky and shiny and that is to do with the surface area that it has to reflect light off so generally the curlier your hair is the less shiny it will be. And that's because curly hair curves and twists and all intertwines, so it just can't reflect the light as much as naturally straight hair can. So it's completely normal for curly hair to need a little bit more help to enhance the shine. And lastly, the level of hydration in your hair can really determine how shiny it is. Really, I think one of the most important things when it comes to shiny hair is hydrated hair. And really taking the time on wash day to hydrate your hair and lock that moisture in will help. So the more dehydrated your hair is, the less shiny it will be. So now you kind of understand a little bit more as to why your curls aren't as shiny as you want them to be, I'm going to share some tips that you can use to enhance your curls shine and hydration. Let's go ahead. So tip number one is to remove product buildup. So if you've been using lots of different products on your hair, you've been using products that build up on your hair, then you really need to be making sure you're using a cleanser that can remove product buildup. Otherwise your hair can look limp, dull and lifeless and it will lack shine because of all the product that's building up on your hair. So make sure that you are clarifying your hair regularly if you're using products that can build up on your hair. Hydration. Healthy hair is hydrated hair and hydrated hair is usually shinier hair and water is really, as we know, important for hydration and healthy hair. So make sure you're using lots and lots of water in your curly hair routine. Make sure when you are cleansing and conditioning your hair, you're using lots of water. When you're detangling your hair, use the squish to condition method to really get the water and condition it into the cuticles of your hair and hydrate it from the inside out. And then when it comes to styling, make sure you're using lots and lots of water. Once you've formed your curl clumps, you can always remove a bit of water with a curl towel just to help with the drying process. But yeah, lots of water is what's really gonna help you enhance hydration on your hair, enhance the curl clumps, and then enhance the shine. Products, so when it comes to products that help enhance shine, you really want to be focusing on adding extra moisture once you've hydrated your hair. So extra moisture comes from leave-in conditioners, curl creams. So you want to add a curl cream to help add extra moisture. And then a gel will help define your curls and lock the moisture into your hair. So when you create juicy curl clumps, you are giving more surface area to reflect the light and therefore your hair is going to be more shiny. And usually juicy curl clumps when wet translate to shiny curl clumps when dry. 
but there are some other things that you can do if your hair isn't as shiny as you want it to be when it's dry, which leads me onto my next point. Use a hair oil. Using a hair oil or a serum as a final step in your routine once it's fully dry will help lock the moisture in that you've added to your hair and it will give you a smooth, soft and shiny finish. An oil that I've really been loving recently is the Curl Smith Shine Oil. It's very lightweight, similar to their bonding oil. That's very lightweight weight as well but the bonding oil contains protein this one is protein free and it's also fragrance free because it's from their fragrance free shine line which you guys know I absolutely love I'm obsessed with the shine cream and gel combo it's literally like my favorite combo these days I've got it in my hair today and a little bit of the shine jelly as well and of course I use a little bit of this as well to seal my hair so because my hair is low porosity I really don't need to use a lot of oil and when I say I don't need to use a lot I mean I don't need to use a lot a couple of drops Drops is all I will need and I'll just mix it into my hands first and you can see there's a glow to my hands and basically it's best to start off with less oil than more so do literally like one or two drops then just glazing the oil over your hair and you can do it strand by strand or you can just go like this over your hair just over the canopy this will help smooth frizz at the same time and just add a nice glossy sheen to your hair after you've smoothed over your hair if there's still a shine on your hands then that's a good sign that you don't need to use more oil so i think people can get quite heavy handed with oil and then they think that it doesn't work for them and it weighs their curls down it can be very beneficial but you only need the tiniest amount if you've got fine or low porosity hair if you have coarser hair or high porosity hair then you can definitely get away with using more oil you might even find that one pump per section works best for you but because i've got like medium density fine to medium low porosity hair then I really don't need to use a lot and I mainly focus it on the underneath sections of my hair where they're slightly coarser and the ends of my hair so the ends of my hair like most people's are high porosity because they've been exposed to the elements more and that really I find helps bring my clumps together as well underneath and yeah it just really seals my ends and my final tip is something that you should be doing anyway if you've got curly hair and that is protecting your curls overnight. Something that really helps lock the hydration into our hair, stop it from drying out, is sleeping on a silk or satin pillowcase. And a lovely, luxurious pillowcase that I have been sleeping on recently is the Curl Smith Vegan Satin Pillowcase. This pillowcase is such high quality. When I took it out of the packet, which is compostable by the way, I was really shocked as to how thick it is. I've slept on a silk pillowcase for years and I really can't tell the difference between sleeping on this and a silk pillowcase. I've also tried out a different satin pillowcase before and it just felt thin and cheap compared to this. Like the quality, the thickness, uh, it feels so much like silk so it's a really really great option if you're looking for a vegan alternative to silk um yeah i'm really really loving this so you can sleep on your curl smooth pillow of dreams while dreaming dreams of healthy shiny curls <laughs> So there you go, those are all my healthy, shiny, curly hair tips. I really hope that you found them helpful and it gave you a little bit of food for thought. Let me know in the comments if you try any of these tips or if I've given you any light bulb moments as to why your curls may not be as shiny as other people's. And yeah, as always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon. Bye guys.